go tonight. This is what we deliver I will on a Tuesday. I will take that for a Tuesday night. <laughs> See, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Now then, let's say hello to our guests tonight. Please welcome Adam Lambert, Saran Jones and Rachel Stevens. <laughs> We were saying, all oh, looking tonally beautiful oh. over there. Look at that. Oh. We didn't text each other. No. It just <laughs> happened. It's just, just a Tuesday. <laughs> That's the man. We found a little link between you and Rachel mm -hmm. because apparently, before you found fame on Corey, you could have been the extra member of S Club 8. Yes, oh. I could have been. Because you were yeah. singing the songs, weren't you? I don't you? think they would have had me, but yes, I could have <laughs> been. What do you mean? S Club Juniors? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no take I it, think. go, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, oh yes, yeah, 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 I'll take that. Yes. No, um, so I used to go around schools and do, um, like, theatre and education, and we used to sing, um, don't stop, never give up, hold your head high and oh reach the God. top. We're all doing an NVQ and working in a job. <laughs> and we used to change the words. <laughs> to fit. And all these 15, 16 year olds were like, what are they on? Oh, you should have joined us. <laughs> yeah. Would have been much better to join. Yeah. See? Would you have come out? I mean, a she would million have been percent. In. She's in. Yeah, She's in. exactly. Yeah. Can I join? Well, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, yes. <laughs> well, you're not alone because while Rachel was at the top of the charts and while Saran was pretending to be Rachel, Adam, we know that you were showing your potential at your high school graduation. Oh, we're really We've going back. We've tracked down this footage. No. Let's take a look. Oh, that is worth oh my God. Oh, oh, nailing it! Absolutely yeah. nailing it. I mean, Aww. in that moment, do you remember what you felt? Were you nervous? Well, I remember getting to the end and I was trying to do a big note and I had my voice cracked at my graduation. I was like, Ugh! And I'm like, oh <laughs> man, of course that happened today. But look, oh, isn't it? Tactile, yeah. very nice. <laughs> so pleasing. Um, now then, Rachel, we nearly had a heart attack in the meeting. Because apparently it's 25 years since Bring It All Back shot S Club 7 to fame. People are like, how long? Can't be. I know, it's crazy. You knocked Madonna off the top spot. Obviously, Lauren being the guru of everything music knew what the song was. I mean, which I guess correctly. Beautiful Stranger, would it have been Madonna? Beautiful Stranger, yeah. Beautiful yeah. Stranger. Can you believe yes. it's been that long? I could be, no, I can't. It's just crazy, isn't it? how time just goes. It's, it's unbelievable. Insane. And you look no different. That's oh, the annoying thing about that. <laughs> <laughs> but Rachel, you've got a few stories to tell. So you've written a memoir, and of course that looks back on your time in the band, in S Club 7. And since you were last here, you've had your S Club reunion shows. Now I can imagine, you know, it was a real mixed bag emotionally being up on stage there for you. How was it? It was incredible. I mean, um, obviously, it, it took a different direction after Paul's passing. Yeah. It became a real... I mean, it was always going to be a celebration. I mean, 25 years was something to really celebrate and bring the music back to the fans again. And we had such an incredible response. And it just it became just a, a beautiful tribute to him and a lovely moment to share everything with the fans. Mm. And it was really, really special. Mm. Yeah. And with the family, yeah. too? Was it the first time your daughters saw you performing? Yeah. I mean, we did a reunion back in 2015 and Amelie, my eldest, was three. Oh. So this was the first time that they could actually really go, oh, wow, OK, this is, you know, really get it and get a sense of it. And they came up on stage with us at the O2 and it was very special to yeah, share it I with bet. them. And I was cool for five minutes, you know? I was cool, <laughs> cool for five minutes. Five and I was minutes. like, Mum, okay, um, doing well. <clears throat> Alex yeah. has been in touch. Uh, we're not making it up, it's a different Alex to me. It's been 20 years since you first released solar material away from the band. Any plans to do any more music on your own? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I just did um, a festival, uh, Hoopla, a couple of weeks ago, and that was the first oh, time. It's a oh, good it was festival. amazing. Yeah. And it was the first time I've been back on stage doing my own stuff. Um, and it just felt amazing, and I had such a brilliant reception. And... Um, yeah, it was incredible. So, yeah, it's definitely... I love performing so much, so it's given me that buzz again to get back There's up there. There's a little sparkle in the eye, isn't there, when you talk <laughs> about it? It's lovely. Yeah. But who and knows? You know, everything's ever-changing all the time, and it was just great to get back up there again. And, yeah. And, well, yeah. this is it. Things do change, and, and things have changed since the beginning, because fans might be surprised to hear, as, you know, you, you write in the book that you initially really struggled to find your place in the band and, and you also had imposter syndrome. Oh. What was that about? God, I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously I didn't recognise it as that then and I was, you know, my uh, teens going into this kind of whirlwind of, a, a, you know, of an experience and sort of learning on the job. I mean, I got into the band um, 
I had this sliding doors moment of being approached by these amazing producers. Um, mm. I just went to have lunch with my brother at Sony and I got approached and it was one of those moments that t changed my life and mm. found myself in this band and just learnt on the job. Um, and yeah, it was, uh, but yeah, I did. I really struggled with um, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worries, a lot of, um, yeah, imposter syndrome. And, and obviously, like you say, you were kind of thrust together yeah. as a band. How close were you behind the scenes? We were so close, but I mean, we were literally going 100 miles an hour all the time. We were so young. We were all in the same position yeah. that we were just all kind of go, go, go. And I think like very differently to some of the other bands, we also had the TV element, the movies, the as well as recording the music, touring, there was so much going on and it was there was never really time, I found, to sort of stand still and just take it in take and it find in. that, yeah, just be in the moment. Well, we love Desperate <laughs> Sam and the absolute best. Rachel's book, Finding My Voice, is out on Thursday. Now, tomorrow night,